Okay, we're gonna do a little bolt identification and measurement with you guys today. There are certain tools that we can use to identify size and the type of bolts that we're working on. Um, all these different templates can be used to check the diameter of the bolt, the length of the bolt, and you can check whether it's metric or standard on here also. And these are just a few different designs that can be used. This is a thread pitch gauge. This particular one is for standard sizes. And we'll talk about what thread pitch is, but this measures how many threads per inch. And this one is metric. It measures how many threads per millimeter. So the first thing we got to do is figure out what kind of bolts that we're dealing with, metric or standard. So there's a pretty easy way to identify metric and standard bolts, and that is by the head of the bolt. So if we take a look at this one right here, you can see it says 8.8 .8 on there. That indicates that it is a metric bolt. This one has three slashes on the top of it, or hash marks, those are called. That indicates that it's a SAE, a standard size bolt. This one, numbers on top, 8.8 .8 metric. This one's so dirty, I can't see it. This also has numbers on the top. It's gonna to be metric, 8.8, .8, that one says. Here's one that says 10.9. Hey, guess what, that one's metric. Here's one with the three slash marks, standard size. Three slash marks, numbers, metric. Slash marks, standard. Three slash marks, standard. Sometimes you'll see more than three. You might see five, six, two. It indicates the strength of the bolt. We'll go over that too. Uh, this one has a number on it. It's metric. Number is metric. Number is metric. And this one also has a number metric. So we have mostly metric bolts here, but we have a good assortment. So let me show you guys how all this stuff works. I'm just going to start off with the most basic tool for measurement, which is a ruler. This one has a standard measurement on one end and metric on the other side, so we can use that for our, our bolt identification. One of the things you got to make sure is when you start your measurement that you start from this line here, not from the actual edge of the ruler. So when we measure the length of a bolt, we're going to measure from just below the head until the end. And so you see where I'm holding this against the ruler? It measures three and a half inches. The other thing we can measure with this is the diameter. So if I hold this up again, if I hold that up to the edge, it looks like it's about three eighths of an inch. And the last measurement we need to know on here is how many of these threads per inch. So, and I count the number of threads in the inch there. It looks like there is one, two, three, 18 threads per inch on this one. The last measurement we really didn't talk about is the size of the head, and that's really not used when you identify the length and size of a bolt, because the head of the bolt could be several different sizes. It really doesn't matter um, when you're talking about the measurements on here. In this case, if we measure it, it looks like it's just one line above the half inch, which is 9 sixteenths. And so when I go to choose the tool out of my toolbox now, I know I'm not going to grab a metric wrench for this. I'm going to grab a standard size 9 16 and that should fit the head of this just perfectly. So this is the wrench set out of your guys' tool kit. And so we have the uh, met, uh, standard on one side, metric on the other. As I identified this as a 9 16 let's make sure that that's the one that fits properly on there. And it does. That fits really nice and snug on there. If, uh, you know, you could just try the size. Half inch doesn't fit. Five eighths is way too loose. So it just makes for a quick, um, quick choice of tools. And also, sometimes you have to replace a nut or a bolt on a car if it gets damaged. And so that way you can identify and replace it with the proper one. So here's some measuring tools to uh, measure nut and bolt sizes. They're a lot more precise than just using an inch or metric ruler. So let's talk a little bit about these. You're still gonna have to identify what type of bolt you're working with, standard or metric. And we'll go back to that one that we just did the demo on. I know that this was a 3 8 diameter um, shoulder on here. So, you know, again, you can try it. It doesn't fit in 5 16 7 16 is way too loose. And 3 8 fits just perfect, as you guys can see right there. 
you know, again, this one uses a ruler on here to identify. It makes it easy because the ruler starts right on the edge there. And again, if you see this one we measured before, three and a half inches. Now, if you want to measure the actual pitch of the thread on here, again, you still have to know whether you're dealing with metric or standard. And we identified this one as standard. So if I take my thread pitch gauge, this one's standard, that one's metric. And I can just sort of guess to start out with, I think it's 18 threads per inch. And that's this one right here. Now, this should fit in there perfectly. That doesn't fit in there perfectly, so I made a mistake. Let's try 16. Oh, look how sweet that fits right in there. So this is 16 threads per inch. So again, I identified it as three and a half inches long, 16 threads per inch, three eighths diameter. Okay, let me demo metric for you. So we'll just use this one right here. Again, I identified it as being metric because it says 10.9 on the top of there. And that indicates it's a metric one. So I'm gonna be using the metric side of the rule on here. So let's measure the length first. Remember, you gotta start from this line. Don't start from the actual edge of the ruler. And that looks like it's 80 millimeters, or you could say eight centimeters. Usually they're measured in millimeters. So 80 millimeter length. The diameter is, hmm, let's see. It looks like it's about a one centimeter, 10 millimeter diameter. And then the thread pitch, it's gonna be a little challenging. So when you're measuring the thread pitch on a metric bolt, it is the distance between the threads measured in millimeters. It's not how many threads per millimeter, it's the distance between the threads, which is really difficult to measure with this ruler. So we're gonna to have to use a more precise tool. And that's where we go to the thread pitch gauge. And so again, I'm kind of trying to eyeball about how many, th you know, the thread distance. And we'll see which one is correct. It looks like it is. It's a thread pitch of 1.5. So that means there's one and a half millimeters between the threads. So I just showed you the um, thread pitch with the metric thread pitch measuring tool. This tool right here can also be used to help you figure stuff out. Again, we're dealing with a metric bolt, so I'm gonna look for the one that fits the best. Uh, that's a little loose. So this was a 10. That's the same thing I measured with the ruler, but much more accurate measuring here. Just, I'm not guessing, I know for sure. Here, they made a little notch so you can get the head of the bolt in there. And again, we measured this as 80 um, millimeters. So again, if we wanna figure out what wrench goes on here, I can use a measuring tool. Let's see if I can measure this. It looks like it is a 17 millimeters. Let's see if I'm right. Let's try 17. Look at that, it fits perfectly on there. So, you know, you can measure stuff first. I could just try every wrench to see if that fits, but this makes things a lot quicker. And again, if you ever have to replace a nut or bolt, you need to know the measurements on here. All right, so we used the, the basic tools. Now we're gonna use more of a faster, easier tool to use. And these are just bolt identification. Uh, um, let me see, uh, uh, the cord right here is just calling universal thread gauges. Okay, so they give you one for metric, they gave you two for US standard, and they gave you this last one, which is really cool for identifying pipes or spark plugs, which is related to auto. So we started with a uh, standard last time, we're gonna start with the metric one. So I'm just gonna grab the metric one, and we already identified that these are metric because they have numbers. This has an 8.8 .8, uh, on the top of here, okay? So I know that's metric, so I'm gonna grab the metric one, but you know, you could go ahead and just start plugging in holes. So it doesn't fit in the six, doesn't fit in the six, but it does fit in the eight. So we know it's eight millimeter diameter. And then as far as the thread, this is really fine thread. So I'm gonna to go to, uh, let's see, right here. That's a 1.5 and that doesn't fit. So I wanna go down to, it looks like a one, two, five. 
still doesn't fit. Let's try a one, and a one fits perfectly. You see that there? Okay, so we know the diameter of this diameter was an eight millimeter. So it fits in the eight meter hole, and then the uh, thread pitch is a 1.0, uh, 1.00, okay? I could go ahead and check it with the ruler if I wanted to, okay? So eight millimeter, I put that right here. I'm gonna line it up, and it's right on the eight, so that's the diameter. If I wanna know the, uh, the head, okay? So let's line the head up. And I would say that looks like a 12 millimeter head. Let's see. Grab the 12 millimeter, put that on there. Not quite. So a 12 millimeter didn't fit. I'm gonna grab the 13 now, and the 13 fits this perfectly fine. We know this is metric because of the marking, the thread pitch, and the diameter, okay? But I wanna show you something. So this is a 13 millimeter wrench. Sometimes when the bolt starts to round off, it's okay to go to the US standard because in this case, a half inch, is a little bit smaller than a 13. So if the 13 is fitting a little loose on there, and you can hear it. So if that's fitting a little loose, especially if it's rounded, you could grab the half inch, and the half inch fits a lot snugger, okay? So a lot of mechanics, when they get advanced, this is what they end up doing. A half inch and a 13 are very similar. A 9 16 and a 14 are very similar. Another very similar one is a 3 8 and a 10 millimeter. Uh, how about a 3 quarter and a 19 millimeter? So I am posting up on the, this video the chart that tells you how precise these metric to US standard comparisons are. Because let's say that the 3 quarter is not fitting right. Well, you know, you know it's a U.S. standard bolt. You're going to use the right wrench for that bolt, but maybe that the bolt has some kind of damage to it. It's okay then to try the metric one and see if it has a better fit because it's all about trying to tighten things and loosen things uh, with the tools you have and the and the and the situation you're dealing with. So uh, there's a chart. I'm sharing it with you. Uh, which wrenches are close to each other? Okay. To demonstrate what I was talking about, I have my U.S. standards uh, wrenches and I have my uh, metric wrenches. And this is what I see my students doing a lot. They'll go ahead and just put the wrenches where they seen the fit the set with the, with the pattern. Okay, so if I were to pull that 19 and I'm going, oh, that's not a 19, that's a three quarter. Oh, they put the 19 in the three quarter. Look at that. And it looks like it's a complete set. How about a uh, 14? Oh, that's a 9 16 Oh, the 14 was in the 9 16 The half inch. Oh, that is not a half inch. That's a 13. So the 13 must have the half inch. And I see this almost on a daily basis. The 10 with the 3 8 Almost a daily basis. One of my carts, and we have eight carts here at Monta Vista. One of my carts will have a wrench in the wrong spot, or they'll borrow tools from another cart, and there'll be two 9 16 a 9 16 in the 19 9 16 slot, but there will be a 9 16 in the 14 millimeter slot as well, and we will be missing the 14 millimeter. Okay, Mr. Fleming showed you guys these three gauges for measuring standard and metric bolts. The last one that comes in this kit is actually pretty cool. It's for measuring pipe sizes and threads, and also spark plug sizes and threads, which relates directly to automotive. So I've got a bunch of spark plugs here. I'll grab two different ones. I'll grab a large one and pretty much a standard size. Well, what I find mo in most cars. This one takes a 5 8 inch wrench to install it. This one takes a 13 16 wrench to install it. But what I wanted to show you guys is how to measure the thread pitch on here. So it kind of looks like these are the same, but we can measure both of them. So with this thread pitch gauge, again, you're just gonna kind of feel around for the best fit. And it apparently 14 millimeter diameter is the best fit for spark plug. We just need to find the thread pitch. That's a 1.5. 
metric. This is a 14 threads per inch. I believe this is going to be a metric thread pitch. Okay, there it is. It's a 1.25 millimeter space between the threads on here. So this is a 14 millimeter by 125 thread pitch. This one looks like it's the same, but let's double check it. Yeah, 14, and the other one was 1.25, so let's try that. Yeah, it fits perfectly in there. So that's pretty much the standard automotive thread pitch for spark plugs. If you're dealing with a motorcycle or a lawnmower or in some old Ford engines, they use some different diameters and thread pitches. And so you'll need to reference this to make sure you're installing the right plugs. Okay, so I mentioned that when you go to install, remove or install spark plugs, you're going to use a tool around this area here, the nut of the spark plug. And so if you're dealing with an American-made car, and we're going to measure this, and I'm going to start at the one-inch mark, and it looks like this ends up being at about five-eighths on here. This one is measured about uh, 13 sixteenths. Actually, it looks exactly 13 sixteenths. And so just to show you guys, here's the 5 eighths tool. That fits real nice on there. This one, my 13 sixteenths, fits just right. Now, sometimes when you're working on a metric car, they're gonna call out for metric size on these spark plugs. They're the same size, but you can use, instead of a 13 sixteenths, a 21 millimeter. So on this particular plug, 21 millimeter fits very well. Now, if you look, that's a little loose. The 13 sixteenths actually fits a lot more snug on there. So I would choose the 13 sixteenths to work on these plugs. But I suppose you could get away with a 21 millimeter if you didn't have the 13 sixteenths. And with the 5 eighths, it turns out that 16 millimeter is really, really close to 5 eighths. And so if you had to, you could get away with the 16 millimeter on here. Again, you can see it's just slightly looser than the 5 eighths is. So if I had an option, I would choose my 5 eighths. But in a bind, i go with 16 millimeter. Okay, when you're working on spark plugs, we don't usually use wrenches to install them. Spark plugs are recessed in the engine, so we're typically gonna use a socket. And these are actually specialty sockets. There's a little rubber sleeve inside here, which supports this top of the spark plug. This white area is made out of porcelain, which is like glass. And if you break that when you're installing or removing it, you're gonna to have to replace the plug. So these special spark plug sockets have a little rubber sleeve in there to support that, so it doesn't break. When you use tools, sometimes you gotta be really creative. This is meant to be driven with a ratchet handle, but if you're in a really tight area and you can't get your ratchet handle in on there, this end is designed so that you can use a wrench on it. And so I could use the combination of the socket and the wrench to get into a really tight area. With the other size, fits on the same way with the rubber sleeve in there. This one uses a three quarter wrench on the end to drive it if you can't get your socket uh, drive handle in there. Sometimes when you're using tools, you gotta be a little creative on how you make them work for you. So just to bring it all together and show you how this is all written. Here we have a standard size bolt. I've already measured it, we'll do it again though. Fits into the 3 8 hole. So the first number that I write down is the diameter. The next number that goes down is the thread pitch. This is 16 threads per inch. And then the last number on here is the length. So this bolt is two inches long. This is how you write it down. This is how you would ask for it if you went to the store. I need a 3 8 16 by two inch. Here's a metric one. Again, we already measured it, but I'll show you guys. Oh, I need my other gauge right here. Let's see, it's not an eight. It's 12 is too big, so it must be 10. Diameter first, thread pitch is next. Take a look, it's a 1.00 thread pitch. And the length is the last thing, so let me go over to my uh, measure here. And if you take a look at that, it lines up with exactly 50 in the millimeter scale. And that's the length, the last number on there. And that's how you write it down, and that's how you ask for it when you go to the store and buy bolts.